Hey guys, welcome back to another update of my dividend portfolio. Um, if you're new to the channel, definitely welcome. Glad to have you here. And what I do is I'm a Canadian investor investing in Canadian dividend paying stocks using Wealth Simple Trade and tracking my progress in this spreadsheet. I've been going for about nine months now, and uh, so far everything's great. My stock value at the moment is sitting at seventeen thousand two hundred and seventy dollars. Um, we're up almost two thousand, which is awesome. That's over twelve percent gain. My average yield is just under 4%, and we're looking at basically a monthly income of, or sorry, not monthly, an annual dividend income of $686 right now. Now, in this video, I'm going to buy more stocks, and this number is going to change. I'm actually going to sell some as well, and uh, we'll come back to this at the end of the video and see how it's affected, because I basically have $381 in cash, but I'm also going to shift around a few things, and uh, we'll see. we'll see what happens. So... Um, looking here, my utilities is my biggest part of my pie, but real estate is catching up. Um, I'm actually going to sell off a utility company in this video. I think I just have like too many and there's just one that's kind of not doing much for me. And it's one of the only ones that's not in the red. And then I'm actually going to be looking into buying more real estate right now because I still think that this is a great opportunity, a great time to be buying real estate. And um, yeah, I think I'll switch into other things later on, but I still think there's some like a big upside in the next couple months. That's my own personal opinion. And uh, I'm gonna go through with that for myself. So looking in the portfolio here, um, for anyone that's using the spreadsheet, uh, I know there's quite a few people who are using the spreadsheet. Um, at the moment, Google Finance is having a hard time connecting with the the dividends from Yahoo Finance. It's normally doing this automatically, so I just um, I just pasted these in uh, by value. And there's a video in the top right if you want to uh, do the same thing. Um, but anyways, it'll come back when it eventually does. I just drag the cell and just pull it up, and it'll reset everything. Anyways, moving on. So what I was looking at here is Brookfield Renewable Energy Partners. Um, this stock is my smallest position. It makes up 0.3% of my portfolio. I just have one and all of the utility companies, which I have a lot of, not all of them, a lot of them are in the red, but I have a lot of them. And I just don't think I need to have so many different ones, especially if it's only one share. Like they're always moving together. They all go up together. They all go down together. And given that this one is technically in the green today, um, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And uh, if I do buy more utility companies, or shares in utility companies, I'll probably just load them into some of the other bigger positions that I already have. You know, we can even take a look at their spark line here. Basically, like all the utility companies, they have just kind of plummeted from their all times high and they've just jumped up a little bit at the moment. So I'm just going to grab that while I can. Um, the other company that I'm looking to sell today is actually a industrial company and it's Bird Construction. I just picked these guys up like about a month and a half ago um, and I'm up about 10%, which is great. That's awesome for in a month, actually. That's kind of ridiculous. But if we come here and we look at their spark line, so this is their five-year trend. They've been going down a little bit, and they have done some really nice recovery. But when we look also at the lifetime or the max, um, this isn't generally a situation that I like being in. Like basically they at a price that is below what they opened at. And with the exception of this recent recovery, this is pretty much just a downward trend. Yeah, sure, they have a 4% yield, but it's just generally not the type of growth that I like to see in a company. I did buy them in here because, I don't know, I just felt like it. Um, and somewhere, actually a couple of years ago, I can't remember where, I actually bought them and I hit one of these swings and I just got kind of lucky with them. So I was, yeah, I thought I would try it again. Um, but basically I'm going to take this 10% and I'm just going to check out for a second and put it into a real estate company like RealCan, um, which I'm pretty sure has a, a pretty big upside right now. For example, it's still possible that we're going to make up this spread again. And then even here, I'm going to put in a little bit into Allied Properties today. And uh, they also have a big recovery left available. So this is hopefully if they can recover either of these companies that will be like more than 10% jump in the share price. Plus they also have similar, if not better yields anyways. And something else that I'm just thinking of specifically with this sell-off of Bird is I, if you come into the transactions um, and we go search for ARE, so there's another company, Acon, that I used to hold. Um, I My average price was $13.96, and I sold them at $19.20. So I did pretty well with these guys. And if we look at their Sparkline, um, basically, I can't remember. I bought them in some somewhere in here, and I sold them actually in this little dip right here. Too bad I didn't hit that, but that was pretty nice. Um, and these guys have kind of this seasonal, like, 
uh, swings going on and this is something that I would like to look in if they dip down and again to a point like this or a point like this I would definitely consider buying in so not only did I make like 10% or something on my 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 purchase and sale of Acon but then I took that 200 and I basically put it into bird and then I made another 10% with that same $200 um, and then now I'm selling that so I'm kind of in a way I'm trying to imagine that I'm tracking the same $200 and what I want to do is yeah when it when it drops down again I'm gonna want to put it back in and kind of like lock in even lower price and when you look at even the longer term uh, trend of Acon it is a lot more promising than bird I would say um, it has this general upward trend and um, yeah and, and, and this kind of seasonal thing that I'll probably plan on swing trading a little bit in the time scale of like six months to one year or something like that so anyways let's jump into wealth simple trade and uh, start making some sales and purchases and just a reminder there is a link in the description below if you would like to try out wealth simple trade it's a really great platform with no trading fees so you can buy and sell small quantities of stocks like me and uh, not pay any commissions each time you do that so you basically get to keep all of your money especially if you're buying canadian stocks um and yeah it's just a really nice platform to be using so uh, let's get started and go ahead and find bird bdt and what do we have in here so in my portfolio i have 22 shares at a total value of about 216 dollars so we are going to go with a market sell of all shares 22 shares market sell not a market buy <laughs> um, okay cool so we're gonna go and sell that off and we're gonna place the order to sell bird yep great Okay, cool. So the cash has gone up. And then also Brookfield, which was BEP. Where is it? This one. And these guys, I just have one share. So we're also going to go with a market sell for one single share and just cash that out. And yeah, we'll place the order. Okay, sweet. Okay, so now to buy some stocks, uh, what I wanted to pick up first was Riocan. It's R E I dot U N. And with these guys, I have so I have around six hundred dollars, um, and I just want to spread it out. I'm going to pick up Riocan. Actually, you'll see in a second. So we'll go through this one first. Um, we're going to take nine shares. That's around twenty one dollars. That's going to put us just under two hundred dollars. So let's place that at a market buy. And then I also wanted to pick up Smart Centers, um, SRU.UN. These guys have a huge yield. Um, where is it? 6.32%. And not quite as much um, recovery left, but I think it's just nice. Like, even anything, um, the the yield is double, basically, what um, Bird and, and Brookfield were paying, I think. So, anyways, with these guys, they're $29 each, and so I want to take six. So this is going to be just under 200 as well, or about 175. And then when the, with the remaining money, I actually did want to pick up some Telus shares as well. Um, my real estate investment is getting a little out of hand. And so I want to just pick up some other things. And Telus, I just think, has a great potential here. They have great uh, stock price growth and uh, dividend growth as well. I have 26 shares of them right now, but I'm hoping I can pick up another 7 right now see how much that will cost so it'll be about hundred and ninety dollars so that's cool we'll go and just buy that place the order so that's done and yeah their dividend yield let's see if we can find it is 4.52 percent and i was talking about it in the last video they're committed to to growing it like i think seven percent to seven to ten percent per year um, and they increase the dividend yield every, or the dividend payment every uh, six months uh, is their plan. So yeah, this is just a nice, a very high yield and also with a high growth potential. Anyways, um, there is a little bit of cash left in the account. And what I want to do is I'll just, we were looking at AP.UN as well. And just looking at getting in some of this stock price appreciation. Again, I think it's just, that's pretty much what I'm going for. Their yield is actually all right too. It's 3.8%. Um, but with the leftover cash here, we have enough to buy two. So let's go and put that in at a market buy. All right, great. So let's jump back into the Google Sheet now and just input each of these with the actual price that Wealthsimple says I paid using a market buy because it's a little bit different usually than what it advertised. And once that's all in, then I'll just go back to the summary tab 
and check out what's different. So before we were looking at actually an annual passive income from our dividends at about 686 and now it's jumped up to 707, almost 708. So that's a difference of like $21 per year. I don't know. It's up to you to think if that's big or small. For me, that's pretty significant because that's looking at about $60 a month or just like $2 every day pretty much just coming in, um, which is which is nice. Obviously, you can't live off of $2 per day, but um, this is nice because this is just growing all the time. And you can even see here that the average yield below was uh, before was a little bit below 4%. And now because we actually switched out the the, the, the stocks that we sold, their their dividends was like around 3%, and then I bought in a couple that were quite a bit higher, like smart centers and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, um, thanks a lot for watching this far. If you did, if you like this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it, and please leave a comment. I always like chatting with everyone down there. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the comments.